Hey guys, it's Friday and I figured I'd show you my grocery haul today because I pretty much get the same stuff all the time, but I got a few different things this time, so I figured I'd go over it with you just so you can see what we got for the week. Okay, so I got two 12 packs of these Cola O's, which is basically the Kroger generic of Coke Zero. Um, I would prefer to have Zevia, but Zevia is expensive, so when they're on sale for $2.50 for a case of 12, I tend to get these instead. I got a case of water, and then um, I was at Tuesday morning, I had to go get my syrup. So this time I got the vanilla caramel cream, which I like. Um, I usually use the salted caramel. And they had this chocolate peanut butter cup uh, on the um, coffee. And their coffees are the same price as the grocery store, maybe a dollar difference. So I'm like, hmm, peanut butter cup is like my favorite. So I'm going to give those a shot and see. But um, that's what I got. And my normal coffee is the hazelnut. Got some face cleaning wipes. These are great. Some bum wipes, some celery. My husband's been eating a ton of this with ranch for um, his snacks at work. And so then I've got another ranch. I know this is not the best ranch. It's got soybean oil and all that junk in there. I don't hardly ever eat it. Uh, but you know, we're dirty keto in this house. So, And then when I was talking about the cauliflower mash, this is the one that we like. Sour cream and chives from Bird's Eye. So I got a couple of those. Um, one of them is just because they had some, they had a Kroger brand that was supposed to be like less carbs when I looked at it online and apparently they didn't have that. So I had made a note that if they didn't have that to substitute this kind and I'm going to have, I'm going to have, we're going to have one of those with these sausages. These are the ones we had last week. They were on sale. White cheddar, caramelized onion, and red pepper. These were really good. The macros are good. Um... No, I'm going to drop my stuff. So, I mean, there's three carbs per link, but, you know, we eat like two and the ingredients aren't that bad. But we like them. They're really good. So I got another pack of those to eat one night for dinner with the cauliflower mash. I decided these egg whites are driving me nuts uh, or basically I'm just bored. So I went back to my protein shakes for breakfast. I figured maybe I'll just start alternating back and forth in between them since I don't have an issue losing weight when I'm drinking those. Um, so I got a couple packs of the ranch tuna that I use for my lunches sometimes. I also have a couple of the five ounce cans of chicken that I also use for lunch. And my husband loves cider and I saw they have a sugar free. And he's the kind of person that he can drink it without even adding any sweetener to it. So, 10 packs, and I think it's like $2. And then I've seen um, a lot of people drink a lot of tea. And Wendy Barron had uh, bought some seasonal tea. Uh, there's a peppermint, and then there's some other flavors. So I'm like, you know what? I'll try the peppermint. If I don't like it, my husband will like it. So I got that. Uh, my husband loves these barbecue pork rinds. They're a little too spicy for me. This is the one, if you saw my video the other day, the one that he was holding was literally twice the size of this. It was almost the size of uh, three quarters of the bag. It was huge. Couldn't believe how big that was. I've never seen a pork rind that big in my life. And then I'm a little dirty keto. You know this. I like the barbecue pork rinds, even though some of them have a little bit of sugar in there. He loves some flower seeds. So I've got him those. Um, I've had these before I was keto and I liked them and these have five net carbs which is actually less than those Atkins bars I've been having for snacks and they had a discount already they were on sale and then they had like a coupon so they only end up being like four dollars for a 12 pack and the six pack is like 350 so I mean duh I got the coffee cake and the chocolate fudge brownie ones so that will keep me stocked up for snacks for work for a while for my afternoon snack that I like to have and my husband uses whole milk in his coffee I use the unsweetened almond milk and this simple truth is a brand that they carry at Walmart Kroger and it's always like 250 so it's a good deal for half a gallon or yeah half a gallon so water sweeteners Mexican style chicken chicken good lord I can't talk y'all this happens so much Mexican style cheese, enchilada sauce, 
carb counter wraps. You guys see, you see what's happening here, right? You know this, you know me. I'm making enchiladas with the taco chicken. You guys know I love the enchiladas. I love the taco chicken and I have not had it in a while. I used to make it every single week. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna have enchiladas and these are five net carbs. I know there are some that are a little bit less, but these are pretty good. Um, and then my husband's got the cream soda root beer uh, Zevia. So I got some mozzarella and the pepper jack. Oh crap, you know what I just realized? I forgot to get him some lunch meat. He usually eats that cheese with his lunch meat. He'll have to eat something else this week. I'll have to get some canned chicken or something to make him some. Salsa, and then he likes spicy pickles. Some broccoli. We usually have this when we do our teriyaki chicken. And I usually get the pack of fresh chicken because um, it's, they, they have a great deal on it, you know. But this is three pounds of chicken breast for, I think it was, if I get my receipt out, I could tell you accurately. Normally it's like $8. It was already on sale for $6.99. And then they had a coupon or $5.99. Then they had a coupon. So it ended up being like $5 for three pounds. So I got two of those. So I'll be making my taco chicken with this this time. And that is it, guys. That is the grocery haul for the week. And we've got more than enough to feed us for this week. So a lot of times you end up with some extra. But that's it, guys. So that's my grocery haul for this week. Um... Sometimes I'll do a grocery haul video, sometimes I won't because I usually will get the same stuff like every time. But I figured since I was getting some different things this time than what I normally got, I would show you. Especially since like, you know, I got a bunch of different stuff. But, but I've been missing my taco chicken, especially the enchiladas. And I'm like, you know what? It's been a while. I think it's time I can make them again. So uh, when I do the taco chicken, it usually ends up making more than enough to make the uh, 10, I think it's 10 wraps in that container. I can do all 10 of those with the taco chicken in it and still have taco chicken left over. So it could be one of those things where my husband may end up having taco chicken for lunch this week <laughs> since I forgot his lunch meat. Oops. I never do that. But whatever, you know, stuff happens, right? All right, so that's my grocery haul. Thanks again for everybody to, for, to everybody for subscribing. And I hope you had a great week. Thank the Lord. It is Friday. My husband is off tomorrow. And there is a place in uh, Gatlinburg. So you guys know we live near there. Um, it's like 45 minutes from here. That uh, is called Anakista. It's supposed to be kind of like a theme park, but not really. They have uh, a bunch of views. And then there's uh, like the gondola and stuff. It's kind of like Ober. Gatlinburg, but it's only like $20 a person. So we're going to go check that out. I'll probably video some things and take some pictures and let you guys know. Maybe do another weekend vlog. I don't know, but have a good weekend, guys. Bye. We don't talk